science and technology, engineering, math. STEM Tim puts you on the right path. Hi, STEM Tim here. Do you know what STEM stands for? Science, technology, engineering, and math. Those are some of my favorite subjects. You can throw art in there too because I love to draw. I'm so glad you're here today. You're so special. There's no one else in the world like you and it makes me feel special that you chose to spend time with me today to learn. I love to learn. Do you want to learn with me today? Great! Let's learn about the letter A. I know a song about the letter A. It's the first letter of the alphabet. You might know this song. If you do, feel free to sing along. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I sang my ABCs. I'm so glad you sang with me. I love singing. It always puts me in such a great mood. Okay, let's get started learning about our letter of the day. Hmm, what was that letter again? Do you remember? Oh yeah, the letter A. Okay, so I have a game for us to play. Do you like to play games? How about guessing games? I'm going to describe something and I want you to try to figure out what it is. I'm going to give you some clues and then you'll have to put those clues together and tell me what you think it is. Okay, this first thing has four legs. It has a long snout that's filled with teeth. It also has a tail and it swims in the water just like this. Know what it is? All right, well, I'll give you some more clues. It also lives in the swamp. And when it opens its mouth, it goes like this really slow, and then chomp! It closes really fast and powerful. Know what it is? I bet you do. So what's your guess? An alligator, that's right. Alligators are so cool. They are green, and they're big, and they're filled with scales all over their body. Do you want to know some interesting facts about alligators? They've been around for like 37 million years. That's back when dinosaurs were on the earth. Can you believe that? So alligators have about 80 teeth inside their mouth and as their teeth wear out and they need new ones, they grow new teeth right behind them. It's said that they go through between two and 3,000 teeth over the course of their life. That's a lot of teeth. I wonder if the tooth fairy knows about that. Hmm. Alligators also lay eggs. When they lay eggs, the little baby alligator inside the egg will become either a boy or a girl depending upon the weather outside. If it's really warm while the baby alligator is inside the egg, then it'll be a boy. If it's cold outside while the baby alligator is inside the egg, then it'll be a girl. If it's neither hot nor cold, then there's a good chance it might be either one. It could be a boy or it could be a girl. When it gets cold outside in the winter time, alligators hibernate. Do you know what hibernate means? That means they go inside a hole and go to sleep during the winter and rest. Alligators dig a deep hole and then they crawl inside that hole and go to sleep. Now when it becomes warm outside again, the alligator comes outside of its hole, looks around, 
and starts to go hunt for food because it's really hungry after sleeping for such a long winter. Then other animals come and live inside their deep holes because the alligator won't need it until next winter. Isn't that neat? Alligators are so cool. When I lived in Florida, they were everywhere. The alligator goes chomp chomp, alligator goes chomp chomp, alligator swim swims, alligator swim swims, the alligator digs a hole, alligator digs a hole, the alligator goes to sleep, goes to sleep, goes to sleep, the alligator wakes up, wakes up, wakes up. I love alligators, they're so cool. Okay, alligators are really cool, but let's learn about another letter of the day. What was that letter again? Hmm. Oh, that's right, the letter A. Okay, so I have a song to get us ready for this next one. It'll get you thinking about where this next thing is mostly found. Are you ready? You might know this song, so if you do, Please sing along. I love when you sing with me. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's a great song. Stars are found up in space. So I bet this next thing we are talking about is found up in space too. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so this next thing has two legs and two arms. It looks a little bit like you and me, but it has a protective suit on and wears a helmet like a fishbowl. This thing gets inside of a rocket ship and shoots up into outer space. Any idea what it is? Well, how about some more clues? When it's in outer space and it goes outside of the rocket ship, it has a tube that connects out to it so that it can have oxygen and breathe while it's in outer space. Any idea? Well, this thing has even been to the moon. I bet you know what it is now. That's right, it's an astronaut. Astronaut starts with A. It must be so cool to float around up in space. I would love to be an astronaut someday. How about you? Do you like astronauts? Today we have a segment I like to call Latham's Corner. I have Latham here with me today and she's going to teach us a little bit about sign language. Latham, what is sign language? Well, sign language is for people that can't hear. It was developed in Connecticut in 1817. So it was here in the United States? Yes. That's fantastic. Most people don't know what deaf means. Deaf means that you can't hear. So when you're listening to music, they can't hear. But they can use their other senses. So like, if they're listening to music and they turn up really loud, can they feel the vibrations on their body? Yes, they use their sight, taste, and touch to feel things that most people can hear. Awesome. Today, we are going to be learning the letters A, B, C, D, and E in sign language. Are you ready? First, we're going to learn the letter A in sign language. Do it with me. But you do it on your own. Great! Now, let's walk through step by step how to do it. First, curl your fingers in like this, except your thumb. Your thumb is going to stay. Then, you press your thumb into your palm like this. Great! Now, 
This is the letter A. A, A, A. A as an alligator. A. Our next letter is the letter B. Do it with me. Great job! Now let me walk you step by step on how to do the B. So, you're going to stick these four fingers out like this. Then, you're going to extend your thumb like this. Great job! This is a letter B. B, B, B. B as in bumblebee. B. Our next letter is the letter C. Do it with me. Great job! You're doing great. For those that still don't know how to do it, let me show you how. So, you're going to curve your fingers like this. Next, you're going to stick your thumb out like this. Great job! You're doing great. Now, let's do it again. Nice. This is the letter C. K, K, C. C as in cat. C. Our next letter is a little bit tricky. It's the letter D. Do with me. Now, I know it seems a little bit hard. Let me walk you through how to do it. So you're going to curve three of your fingers, except your index finger and your thumb, like this. Then, you're going to move your thumb and you're going to rest all three of your fingers on your thumb, like this. Then, you're going to raise your index finger, like this. Great job! You did it! Let's do it again. You're doing great. This is the letter D. D, D, D. D as in dog. D. Okay, now our last and final letter is the letter E. This is a little bit more simple than the D. Do it with me. Great job. Now, let me walk you through how to do it. You're going to curve your, all of your fingers except your thumb like this. Then, you're going to rest all of your fingers on your thumb like this. Nice! This, do, let's do it again. You're doing great. This is the letter E. E, E, E. E as an eagle. E. Wow, sign language is really cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you kids for letting me teach you all about sign language in the letters A, B, C, D, and E. Until next time on Latham's Corner. Bye. All right, so all the things we've talked about so far start with the letter A. They actually start with one A at the beginning. So alligator and astronaut both have one A at the beginning of their word. Do you know that there's something that starts with two A's? Do you know how to count? Do you want to try to count with me to the number two? Let's use our fingers. One. Two. That's great. You're a terrific counter. Well, this next thing starts with two A's. It has four legs. You want to count with me? One, two, three, four. That's two more legs than we have. This thing also has a long nose like a pig and a snout. It has ears like a bunny. It has an arched back. Its back legs are longer than its front legs. And it has really thick hair spread around its body. Know what it is? How about some more clues? It also has a really long and sticky tongue. I bet that's giving you some clues. It likes to eat ants and sometimes termites.
and it uses its long claws to dig in and get all those ants and termites out of their heel. And then it uses its tongue to catch them. Know what it is yet? Well, this thing eats up to 50,000 ants and termites a day. Now that is a lot. Any idea? Well, let's guess. Okay, it's an aardvark. I know you probably thought I was describing an anteater because they're very similar. But an aardvark's actually not related to anteaters. They're from a different class of animal. But aardvarks are really neat. And they eat so many bugs. I don't think I'd want to eat that many bugs, would you? Ugh! Okay, now we're gonna do a segment we call Winter Time. So Winter, what are you gonna teach us today? Well, I'm gonna be teaching you how to count to nine. Nine, do you know how to count to nine? I can't wait to learn. Well, first we're gonna start with one red apple. Here, put it in the basket. Now we're gonna have one red strawberry. We had one red apple, then we got a, one red strawberry, so one, two. One plus one equals? Two. Fantastic. Now I have one orange. That is the color orange. Awesome. Now I have one orange carrot. So now how many orange objects do you have? We have two. One, two. So if you put those two orange objects with two red objects, how many do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four. four. So one, two, plus three, four. Two plus, plus two, two equals four. Great. Now I have one yellow lemon. And one yellow banana. So how many yellow do you have so far? Two. One. one two. two. And then what else do we have in here? We have three. Four. Five. Six. So we have a total of six items. So I have one green pear. And one yellow. And the outside wrapping that is green corn. Great. I like corn. Yeah, it's yummy. <laughs> do you have anything else over there for us? Well, I have the last fruit. A purple grape. Grape, okay, well I like grapes too. So let's see how many food items we have in the basket. Well we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine food items. Wow, that was terrific, Winter. Can you show me on your fingers how you count to nine? Well, first you go one. Do it with me. One. And then we had two. Do it with me. Two. Now three. One, two, three. Then four. One, two, three, four. And then we had five which takes up a whole entire hand. So what do you do now? If you have more than five, how do you count past that? You use your other hand. Oh, okay. So six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine on your fingers. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for stopping by, Winter, and teaching us how to count. That was awesome. You've been doing some terrific guessing today. Okay, the next thing we're gonna guess is really small. I mean, so small, you can't even see it with your eyes. You have to use a special tool. The tool is called an electron microscope. 
Now scientists use this special tool to see things that are really small. But this thing that I'm describing is in everything you can imagine. Whether it's liquid, solid, gas, even plasma. So this is a very important word and a very important thing. Okay, so I'll give you some more clues. It has three particles that make it up. The proton, the electron, and the neutron. The electron has a negative charge, while the proton, it has a positive charge. The neutron, it doesn't really have a charge. So imagine like a magnet. One side of the magnet has a positive charge, and the other side of the magnet has a negative charge. When you put the positive and positive together, they don't attract. When you put the positive and the negative together, they come together like magnets do. You've probably played with magnets. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so the proton and the neutron come together inside what's called the nucleus. Have you ever heard of a nucleus? Okay, well if you have, then you might know what this is. Then you have the electron. So you have the nucleus in the middle, and then the electrons spin around it, just like the moon spins around the Earth. It goes round and round and round. So in the nucleus, the number of protons determines what chemical this is a part of. I know this is a really tough one, so do you have any guesses? All right, well, I'll give it to you. It's called an atom, A-T-O-M. Atoms are everywhere, in gas, in water, even in our bodies. We're made up of a bunch of atoms. Atoms are really cool, and scientists study them all the time. It must be so neat to be a scientist. You get to learn about so many things like that. Tim. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. I've got a joke for you. Okay, what is it? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana again? <laughs> All right. So this next thing is one of my favorites. It's a lot like you and me. They're even from the same family as humans. They have really long arms, much longer than their legs, and they're very smart. They even use tools and can learn language, just like you and me. They are excellent tree climbers, and they eat mostly fruits, but sometimes they'll eat bugs and roots. Any idea what it is? All right, one more clue. Well, they make a face like this, and they sound like this. <laughs> Any guess? I bet you know what it is. What do you think? That's right, it's an ape. Apes are terrific. Apes are amazing. They're a lot different than monkeys, though. Apes don't have tails. And also, they're a lot smarter than monkeys. Monkeys' brains are not as developed, which means that they can't do the same things that an ape can do. Scientists have discovered that just a little bit over six million years ago, chimpanzees and humans shared the same common ancestor. That means they were pretty much the same. Apes come in two different types. There are the great apes, which are gorillas and orangutans and chimpanzees, and yes, humans like you and me. Then there are what's known as the lesser apes. 
This has a species called gibbons. Those all live in Asia. My favorite is the gorilla. They're so big and strong and so neat. I love when they run around. <laughs> they are definitely one of my favorite animals. You've done some terrific guessing today. We learned about so many things together. Do you remember all the things we learned about? Well, what was the first thing we learned about? I'll give you a hint. It has a mouth that opens wide like this and then chomp. That's right, an alligator. What did we learn about next? Well, a hint is it was just like you and me, but it goes up in outer space and floats around. Any guesses? That's right, an astronaut. Then we learned about something really small. You need an electron microscope to even see it. Do you remember what that was? That's right, an atom. Then we learned about a special animal that likes to eat lots of ants and termites. Do you remember what that was? Was it an anteater? No, but they're very similar. It was an aardvark. That's right. And then we just learned about my favorite animal. Do you remember what that was? I'll give you a hint. <coughs> That's right, it's an ape. You've done such a great job today. And we learned about so many special things. Special, just like you. I am so happy that you've come along and learned with me today. And thinking about all those ants marching along that the aardvark eats, it makes me think of a song. If you know the song, you can sing with me. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, how I want to be in that number. When the saints come marching in. Oh, when the drums begin to bang. Oh, when the drums begin to bang. Oh, how I want to be in that number. When the saints come marching in. Oh, when the stars fall from the sky. Oh, when the stars fall from the sky. Oh, how I want to be in that number when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, how I want to be in that number when the saints come marching in. Wow, that was so much fun. Well, it's time to go now. Do you remember my name? That's right, Stem Tim. If you want to see more of my videos, just click on the subscribe button below. When I put new videos on, you'll be notified and we can learn together again. I can't wait to see you and thanks for stopping by. See you later. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go. Bye-bye.